Hi boys and girls, I am so happy that I get to be with you today. My name is Miss Christina and I've got a fantastic true story to tell you straight from our Bible. And it's about trusting God. We've been learning about trusting God over the past few weeks. We learned that God loves us and we can trust him no matter what. God is always with us. I can't wait to hear a lesson, but first, let's get started with a great worship song. Everyone stand up. We're going to have fun singing and praising our Father up in heaven. It's a beautiful day. I want to celebrate. I want to tell everyone. I just can't wait. He is my friend. He is so great. Can do any anything. I just can't wait. So I'm gonna tell everyone everywhere about the love of Jesus. Yeah, everyone everywhere. I want the world to know. Oh, everyone everywhere about the love of Jesus. So I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell them about you. singing. Now let's get ready to learn. Do you have on your listening ears? Let's turn them on together. Click, click, click. Wonderful. Thank you for showing me that you're ready to learn. This summer, we're focusing on trusting God and our Bible verse, Proverbs 3, 5, helps us remember. It says, trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Now let's go ahead and say this together with our motions. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Proverbs 3, 5. Great job. You've done a great job learning our Bible verse. And I believe we're ready for our lesson. This week in our true story straight from the Bible, we learned about three friends named Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They found themselves in a fiery place because they believed in God obeyed in him and trusted him to always be with him all the time no matter what happened to them let's watch and see what happened just follow me through who who follow me through follow me through Welcome to my cupcake food truck. Look at these fun music cupcakes. They have music. 
take notes on them because our story today has music in it. If you're ready, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three, tell me a story. This story is all about how you can trust that God is with you. It starts with a king named King Nebuchadnezzar. Can you say that? neb a ka nezer Try it! neb a ka nezer Good job! And here he comes! King Nebuchadnezzar thought he was the very best king there ever was, and he wanted everyone to know it. One day, he had a giant idea. Now when I say giant, I mean giant. Look! King Nebuchadnezzar made a huge golden statue of himself. Then he told all the people in the kingdom to gather around, and he said that every time the music played, <clears throat> every time the music played, I guess we need a little music. Can you guys help me out? Get out your pretend trumpets like this, and when I say the word music, you play. Ready? Music! <laughs> Perfect! Okay, trumpets down. So let's start that again. The king said that every time the music played, he wanted everyone to bow down to the statue. Great playing, everyone. Trumpets down. But, here was the bad part. The king said, if you don't bow down, he would throw you into the fire. Whoa! And the king was serious. So each day, the music played, and everyone in the crowd bowed down. Wait, wait, stop the music. Not everyone is bowing. How many people do you see standing? Can you count them? One, two, Three! Yes, there were three men that didn't bow. Their names were Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They were friends with God and knew that they should not bow down to anyone but the one true God. This made the king very mad. So he ordered Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to be thrown into the fire. Woo! <laughs> If I were them, I would be so afraid. But Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego trusted that God was with them. So when they went into the fire, everyone was very worried about them. But then something amazing happened. Look! <laughs> How many people do you see in the fire now? Let's count them. One, two, three, four! Four people! Someone else was in the fire. God had sent an angel to be in the fire with them. He protected Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. That is amazing. And look at King Nebuchadnezzar. He's so surprised. And he said, guys, come out, come out of the fire. So the three men came out and they weren't hurt at all. Wow. <laughs> King Nebuchadnezzar was amazed that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego had trusted God and that God had saved them. What a great story! God is amazing! God was always with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, even in the fire. And you can trust that God will always be with you too. I can trust God and you can trust God. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up! Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who can trust God? I can trust God. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can trust God? I can trust God. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye! Wow. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego really made the king mad when they wouldn't bow down to his statue. But they knew that it was wrong and they trusted God no matter what. After the king had thrown them in the fiery furnace, 
He looked in and saw that they were not alone. Someone was in the fire with them. The king was confused and amazed. He shouted, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, servants of the Most High God, come out, come here. And they did. The Bible tells us that people gathered around them and they saw that they were unharmed. The fire had not hurt them. Their hair and their skin and their clothes weren't burnt. There was no smell of fire on them. The king praised God and decreed to all of his people that the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego is the one and only true God and that he is the only God anyone could worship. Hooray, isn't that amazing? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego trusted God because they knew that God was bigger than any problem. They knew that he was always with them no matter what. And they knew that they could press play and trust God with everything. So if I ask who can trust God, you're going to say, I can trust God. Awesome. You did so great today. It was so fun being with you. Will you pray with me? Let's close our eyes and talk to God together. God, thank you so much for the amazing lesson that we got to learn today. And I pray that no matter what happens, that we know that we can always trust you. And God, that your plan is always so much better. God, I thank you for all of my friends that we got to hang out today. And I just pray that they always remember, Lord, that we can always trust in you. Pray all of these things in your holy and precious name. Amen. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I had so much fun with you, and I'm so glad that we got to learn such an amazing lesson. I will see you guys next time. Can you give me one snap? Everybody at the candy, give me two snaps.